Dr. Mundo Gonzalez. I'm a surgical oncologist and general surgeon, and uh, I'll be discussing the steps of chest tube placement. First, the intercostal spaces should be located and the, the location of the tube should be over the anterior axillary line over the fourth or fifth intercostal space. An incision is made and I usually recommend to junior residents to create a small incision but big enough so that your index finger can go through. Then you have to be aware of the anatomy, especially that the neurovascular bundle goes just inferior to each rib over the superior aspect of the intercostal spaces. Bluntly, usually uh, performed with a Kelly or a similar instrument, you create a tunnel and then you pierce through the pleural space, the parietal pleural. Once you're in, you confirm your position using your index finger. Also, you move your finger up and down to make sure there are no adhesions. Sometimes severe pulmonary infections can lead to adhesions between the lung parenchyma and the parietal pleural. If this happens, placing your tube nearby and adhesions could perforate the lung parenchyma. Once you're satisfied with the position, then you place your chest tube through it. You aim cephalat or up if it's a pneumothorax or down or caudally if it's a fusion or a hemothorax. Once this is well placed, you anchor the tube to the skin and connect it to a pleura machine. Many surgeons prefer to tunnel this uh, placement, meaning you make a skin incision at this level and a um, pleural um, incision at this level so that this one to two centimeters of um, subcutaneous tissue tunneling will protect from leak or recurrence of the pneumothorax once the chest tube is removed. Thank you very much for watching.